What's going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel, The Matrix of Gradelock. Today is our Transformer TCG Market Watch, meaning this video we're only going to go over cards, then secondary market to see which cards are money, which cards are minus, and which cards are plus. But before we begin, please remember to comment, like, subscribe, and check out the channel for more videos. Also guys, if you want to support our channel in any way, we do have a link down below. If you click it, it'll take you directly to tcgplay.com, and any purchase they make off of our link of on uh, tcgplay.com, we get a small percentage, and that is no extra cost. Now today's mark watch is going to be spicy. A lot of buyouts have recently happened, a lot of card prices are up in the market, and I'm pretty sure a lot of this happened yesterday because yesterday on uh, uh, TCG.com, there was a 10% bonus bucks back, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys took advantage, including myself. I bought a few cards that I needed, and 10% bonus bucks back is actually really good. Uh, TCGplay.com hasn't done that since last, last Black Friday. So... Again, expect a lot of card prices up in the market. Uh, I do apologize. Last Wednesday, we didn't do a market watch. I was extremely busy doing my taxes. Yes, I had to do. I have to do my taxes. And yes, I'm doing my taxes for my online sales, for for any sales involving my my bank account, basically. Um, and this question I wanted to answer because I get this question at least three times a week. Uh, from a lot of people from other uh, TC, TCG communities and a few people from Transformers. So. Recently, I had a few people message me uh, from the Transformers uh, community on the Facebook saying, Rico, if you sell cards on eBay or TGPay.com, do you have to report it? I'm like, yes, you have to report it. Well, technically, you don't have to report it, but I highly recommend whenever you sell cards online on eBay, Amazon, uh, TGPay.com, or off your own website, I highly do recommend to report it. You do not want to mess around with the IRS. If the IRS finds out that you're actually making they're actually making a livable income off of selling pieces of cardboard from a children's card game, the IRS will find you and they will pull down your pants and drain all the money from you. All the money they that they have. Because that's just what the IRS does. The IRS will take all your money. And if you guys haven't figured it out figured it out yet, yes, I do hate the IRS. Honestly. It, it's the worst thing in the world doing my taxes but anyways yes guys if you guys do do sell cards off ebay or tc.com i do recommend to report it because again you don't want to mess around with the irs if the irs finds out that you're making an income off any of the uh, off any any of those websites the irs will find you um, again guys you don't have to listen to me or listen to me but it's it's up to you Anyways, let's get on the market watch to see which cards are money, which cards are minus, and you guys already know which cards are plus. Now, the first bio that I want to talk about is Composite Armor. Of course, this rare battle card for tanks is now a $6 card with only four listings. Four listings. There's two listings. I'm sorry. There's one listing for 6 bucks. After that, $7, and then it's jumping to seven to $8. So one listing for 6 after that, 7 and then after that, $8. And there's only four listings for Composite Armor. Again, this card is a phenomenal card for tanks. Not surprised that it's being bought off the market because this armor is just that broken for tanks. Now, Captain Jetfire. This rare battle card has been meta for a while now. A lot of people have been realizing that Captain Jetfire is honestly a really broken card almost as good as uh, galactus uh, optimus prime but this card it looks like it's still holding at five to six bucks but if you actually look at it there's only four listings left one for six bucks and change after that seven dollars and then it's jumping to the eight to nine dollar range again only four listings by the way so captain jeff fire even though the market price is at four fit four fifty it's up to six to seven dollar range. So Captain Jet Fires are slowly going going up in the market. I do recommend to put them up in the market because it looks like it's the best time to get rid of your, your Captain Jet Fires. Now this I honestly do not understand. So if you guys don't know, in Wave Four or War, War for Cybertron Siege Two, there's a box topper. The box topper is Trypticon, and of course it comes in every box that you buy. So this box topper has always been like four or five bucks, which is fair, but but there's only five listings left one for five bucks and change after that it's a ten dollar card and then after that one listing for ten bucks it's fifteen dollars come on are you are you serious now the market price for this card is three bucks and change but honestly like i said i think i kind of see Trypticon as a four to five dollar card but the market price i'm sorry there's only five listings and it's actually about to be a ten dollar card. Now ten dollars, I kind of do agree with, but fifteen bucks for for Trypticon, it's never gonna happen. Now this rare battle card, 
I do not agree with whatsoever. Multi missile pod, this rare battle card from Wave Four, it's up in the market for some odd reason. Market price is at a dollar dollar thirty four, but there's only four listings left, and one, I'm sorry, and two of them for three bucks and change. After that, it's a four dollar card with only four listings. Honestly, I do not think this card is good whatsoever. Um, I, mean, I mean, again, I could be wrong, but I could also be right. This card, I don't see any reason whatsoever why it's more than 50 cents. Four wheel drive, of course, this card is a phenomenal action card for any for any deck that, re that resolves around trucks. This card is also being bought off the market. Market price is at 60 cents, but there's only four listings. One for, I'm sorry, two of them for two bucks and change. After that, it's a $3 card. So, four wheel drives are going up in the market. Again, only four listings. I'm kind of starting to see a pattern here. A lot of, a lot of, um, Battle action cards, I'm sorry, battle battle cards. There's only four listings left for each one almost. Now this card I did talk about in the last few Marco Watches, Sturdy Javelins. I did tell you guys to watch out for it because this card is going to go up. And it is. There is only three listings. One for a dollar and change, after that it's two bucks, and then eventually it's heading towards the four dollar range. Now I'm pretty sure it's not gonna head towards head towards the four the four dollar range. I'm pretty sure it's gonna stay at two bucks, maybe even two fifty. But luckily, there's one listing with forty three copies for a dollar and change, which is great. So hopefully it won't be bought off bought off the market soon. But again, guys, I'm telling you guys to keep your eyes on Sardy Javelin. This uncommon battle card is a phenomenal card, especially since we're in the we're in the ranged character meta with Galactus Prime, Megatron. Oh my god, energy pack. It's being bought off the market. Come on. Like we didn't see that happening. So energy pack from wave three, um uh, War for Cybertron Siege One are bought off the market completely. Their market price is at two bucks and change, well two forty seven, and there's zero listings. So energy packs, I do recommend to check eBay, eBay. I did see two listings yesterday, but they're gone this morning. So energy packs, I do recommend to look on uh, eBay or Amazon because they're completely bought off the market. Now, last market watch, we did see Marksmanship completely bought off the market, but now they're back on the market, but at $18. This is one of the first battle action cards that's actually worth more money than Security Checkpoint and Peace of Tyranny. Broken. Marksmanships are going for 18 bucks each. Market price is at 11 12 but there's only five listings. A bunch of them for 18 bucks. After that, it's a $19 card, but again, Marksmanships. A phenomenal card, by the way, for any for any deck that, that resolves that, re, that resolves around ranged characters. It's now eighteen dollars each. Of course, this card works for Galactus Prime, Megatron, and a bunch of other decks that mainly that mainly have ranged character cards. But again, this is the first battle action card that's worth more money than Security Checkpoint and Peace of Tyranny. Now let's talk about a few cards from Wave One. Of course, Scrap Nose are up in the market at $22 with only four listings. Market price is at 14 bucks and change, but obviously it had it had a huge buyout and now it's 22 bucks with only four listings. Let's see what else we can find. Security so Checkpoints are still 12, 13 bucks. Peace of Tyranny are still 12, 13 bucks. And Shockwave, this, uh, the Decepticon Shockwaves are still holding at 10 bucks. Hasn't really changed. Uh, Cosmos are seven eight bucks, and Anjanaxes are jumping to the ten dollars to the ten dollar range with only five listings. So Anjanax is going up in the market. Of course, a lot of blue decks are hitting are hitting the the top tier list, especially with Galactus Prime and Jetfire. So Anjanaxes are definitely going up the market. Let's see what else we can find. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's it that I want to talk about from this set. Uh, Matrix Leaderships are still holding at seven eight bucks. Rollouts still holding at seven eight bucks. And I think that's it. Nope. Uh, I still function. This card, I have talked about it. I, I did talk about this card in the last few market watches. I still function at one point was at four bucks and change, but now it's going up in the market. There's seven listings. And the first few listings are going for seven bucks. After that, it's jumping towards the nine to ten dollar range. So that's kind of a, a big gap if you, if you actually look at it from seven bucks to nine dollars. Insane. Again, guys, I've been telling you. Keep your eyes on I still function. If you see them for less than five bucks, I do, I, I do I do always recommend to pick them up. That's not a bad buy. But I still functions are going back up in the market because this card is a phenomenal card from Wave One. Now I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys at this point are not surprised. Octones are still bought off the market. If you go on if you go check on tcplay.com, they're gone. And if you go on eBay, there's actually one listing for a hundred and ten dollars. A hundred and ten dollars for Octone. 
That is insane. Let's see when was the last one sold. I'm I'm pretty sure I maybe. So the last one sold on December 4th for 86 bucks. Insane. So Octones are still being bought off the market. Basically, this card is the most short. This card is the short print out of all super rares from Wave Four. So Octones, if you guys actually have them, it looks like they're going for a hundred to hundred and ten dollars. So guys, that's today's market watch. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did indeed enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up if you guys haven't subscribed to our channel i do recommend to, to subscribe to the channel for more videos we'll be having deck profiles match videos and hopefully we'll be having some more box opening videos with me explaining why why buying boxes the transformer tcg is actually a plus you can definitely make back your money and more buying boxes and yeah so today's market watch was very spicy a lot of cards are up in the market a lot of cards are just going are just being bought off, bought off the market um, it's kind of weird because a lot of these buyouts there's only four listings left for a lot of the cards by the way if you actually look at it which is kind of a, just kind of suspicious but again this card Triptychon, a box topper is about to become a ten dollar card honestly i never thought that this would happen a box topper ten dollars that's insane anyways so I do apologize for the, for, the, for the little rant i did earlier today about reporting taxes to the irs but Again, guys, I do highly recommend whenever you sell any cards on eBay, TCD.com, or anything that pays you directly to your bank account or anything that's linked to your social to your social account, to your social number, report your taxes. Just report your income. That's it. Report your income and, re of course, re report all your expenses. And, yeah. So, that's today's Mark Watch, and I hope I will see you guys next time. Bye.